This video is proudly sponsored by Brilliant. More about them later. Five years ago, I started coding with zero knowledge and today I've learned two profitable softwares online, Antify and Fun UI. But here is the brutal truth. This journey would have taken me 18 months and not five years. I have made lots of mistakes and if you are watching this too, you've probably made those mistakes and you are wondering how do you solve them? Let me guess. You probably started learning coding and when it gets hard, you quit and try something new. You dream about launching your own software, but you can't really even finish a simple project. I'm going to walk you through my 8-step mastery framework that will compress 5 years into 18 months. So first, choose one skill to master. I know what you are probably thinking. There are so many skills out there for you to learn. JavaScript, HTML, Python, React. The list never ends. And that's exactly why you are stuck. Listen to me, monk mode, start exactly with clarity. Choose one skill, just one skill. For me, it was React, not because people were talking about it or because React was popular, because I wanted to learn how to create interactive and intuitive design with JavaScript. And that is why I learned React. So I made a decision that changed everything for me. I ignored everything. I ignored all the frameworks. When I started, I wanted to learn backend, but then I thought like, okay, I cannot mix backend and frontend. So I just went with frontend and then I ditched the backend. And that was the best decision I've made. Now here's the question that will change your trajectory for the better. What do I want to build in the next 60 days? Write down this question and try to find the answer. What do you want to build in the next 60 days? Not learn, not study, not understand, just build. Do you want to learn mobile apps, learn React Native or Flutter? Pick one. Do you want to build web applications, learn React or Vue? Pick one. Do you want to build games, learn Unity or Unreal? Just pick one. I know you are thinking about what if I pick the wrong choice? Here's what I've learned after launching two successful products. There is no perfect choice out there. There is only one choice and that is your choice. And the magic happens once you commit to that choice. Because focus is not about doing more. Focus is about doing less with more intention. One skill, 60 days, total commitment. Before we move to the next step, write down what skills do you want to commit and learn and master in the next 60 days. Just write it in a piece of paper. That skill you just thought of, that's your focus and that is your starting point. And that is your final breakthrough. Now, once you've chosen one skill, here's how to master it faster than you thought possible. Use the 80 20 rule. Okay, you have chosen the skill, and this is what keeps 90% of beginner developers stuck. They simply open documentations and tutorials and they start learning and start feeding everything into their mind. But here's something that took me over three years to understand you need 20% of knowledge to get 80% of the work done. So what this simple means that 20% is used for learning and 80% is used for building and for practicing. So for example, when I started my React course, it took me three days to learn React. And after the third day, I started building. I started creating applications with React. And this is how I mastered React. I built my first real application in just two weeks. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. Not even close to good. Listen, I know your brain is screaming right now, but what about error boundaries? What about performance optimizations? What about server-side rendering? Stop there. Those are 80% of the work. That gets you 20% of the result. You don't want that. You want 20% of the work to get you 80% of the result. Think of it like trying to drive a car for the first time. You don't start by learning how to rebuild a car engine. No. You start by learning how to turn the car on and you start driving. Then the other things comes later. Just start building and always remember you are not building the next Facebook in one day. But instead, you are trying to build your first working project. So let's head to the sponsor of this video, Brilliant.org. I need to share something that completely changed my learning game. Here's what nobody tells you about learning to code. 5 minutes a day equals to 30 hours in 6 months. Just 5 minutes of real focused learning in every day and in 6 months, you have stacked up 30 hours of knowledge. That one shift change everything for me. Before that, I was like you, opening YouTube, going to Google and searching for documentations. But after I found Brilliant, everything has completely changed for me. Brilliant doesn't overwhelm you with six hours of learning. It gives you short interactive challenges that actually teach you how to think like a programmer, algorithms that make sense, logic puzzles that build intuition, computer science fundamentals, Python that you actually remember, even neural networks broken down into bit-sized pieces, and all of it builds up slowly but powerfully, day by day. If you are trying to get better at Python programming, algorithms and data structures, computer science fundamentals, logic and AI concepts, you don't need to grind for hours, you just need a system that rewards consistency 
And that's exactly what brilliance gives you. Look, I could keep talking about this for hours, but the best way for you is to just go out there and try it out. So right now, grab your phone, scan this QR code on the screen. Or if you are watching this on your mobile, just click the link in the video description right after you finish watching this video. Brilliant is giving you 20% off their premium subscription when you use my link. So this is the QR code, just scan the QR code to go to brilliant.org or after the video, I'll leave a link in the video description. Just click on the video description, you'll find a link and check out Brilliant. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this part of the video. So number three, block time with a daily study plan. Now you have an idea about what to learn, but here is where a lot of you fail. You don't have a system to follow. You are always constantly on your mobile phone, going through TikTok, and you don't have a steady plan. Today you are learning, the next day you are not learning, and the next day that follows, you are learning again. No, this is where your consistency matters. Look, life is busy. A lot of you have kids and family members and a lot of things to do. And maybe you are even working. But a real work here is not just the total amount of time you spend learning. It's the consistency. Even five minutes a day is okay. If you can get five minutes a day, or 10 minutes a day, that is okay. You just want to be consistent. So here's the challenge I want to give you. Just pick your phone, open Google Calendar, and make sure to schedule your learning plan. Make sure to have a learning plan you are following so that each day you know what you are going to learn. This is better than just learning randomly. The moment I realized this, everything changed for me. So pick your calendar or just pick a note. Make sure to create a steady plan. Just create a steady plan, a plan that you follow. And you can just make it five minutes or 10 minutes a day. And that is okay. Pick the time that comforts you. Don't pick a time that will stress you. And number four, build projects immediately. So next step, build projects immediately. This is where a lot of you are getting stuck. You keep learning, you keep watching tutorials, but what happens? You never implement. For example, you just finished learning how to use APIs to fake data. Why not build a web applications after that? Don't learn the lesson and move to the next lesson, no. After you learn any lesson, just try to implement it. Look at the lesson. What application can I build with this lesson? Like I said before, if you finish learning how to fake data with APIs, you can learn how to build a web application or a blog post application. Look, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is where a lot of you are getting wrong. You want your application to be perfect. No, that's not how it works. You are in the learning journey. You are in the learning state. And the application don't need to be perfect. You just need to have something out there to prove that you can also start something and build it completely from scratch. I wish I have my first web application for you to see how ugly they really look, how ugly those applications look. But with time, I kept improving, I kept building, and this has changed the trajectory of my life. And there are two people, there are always two people. We have the first person who is the watcher and the second person who is the builder. The big question is, are you a watcher or are you a builder? And if you are a builder, you know exactly what to do start building number five eliminate distractions you've just started learning maybe you've just started learning your first lesson and what happens and in 15 minutes time you have an instagram notification you have a tiktok notification youtube notification always make sure to minimize distractions those are all distractions when you are in your learning journey you don't want anything that will distract you and a lot of you you go out there you open tiktok and you look at people that are already ahead of you and you go like when will i become this guy no you are still in level one and the person is in level 20. Those are two completely different people. A level one person and a level 20 person, they are two completely different people. So you are in your level one. So make sure to limit distractions. Always try to off your mobile phones and just focus on your learning. Now, once you are done eliminating the noise and distractions, here's how to accelerate your skill with the most powerful framework in learning. Weekly progress checkpoints by the end of every week always ask yourself these questions what did i learn this week what did i build this week what confused me this week that is it so for example week one i learned about components build a simple button everything confused me week two i learned state management build a to do app with add and delete only struggling with api integrations now week three i learned custom hooks build a weather app dashboard with real-time data ready to tackle my final project. So look, you have to celebrate your smaller wins. You always have to ask these three questions so that you know your weaknesses and your strength. And then you know what you have done and what you find difficult and how to tackle it next. So number seven, track and celebrate progress. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. Don't wait until you are done before you feel proud. If you just accomplish something small, always celebrate it. Every small wins, 
counts. So learning is more like playing a video game. Once you accomplish something, you are rewarded. So always find something to celebrate every small win along the way. You just finish solving a bag, celebrate the win. You just finish your small mini project, celebrate the win. Every win counts. Look, once things start to get hard, those smaller wins will always keep you going. Number eight, set a final project or a challenge. Here's the moment that separates learners from builders. Here's where you start to create real projects. Here's where you put your skills into practice. Look, real learning comes from real projects, projects that people are using. So make sure to find an application or a software you can create, a real project that will solve the problems of people, that people will interact with. The truth is, when you have an application out there that people use, you learn a lot. You learn how to fix bugs. You learn how to design for human beings rather than for yourself. And you learn a lot of skills along the way from real problems because these are applications that people are using and this is what recruiters out there are even looking for they're looking for people that can create applications that real people are using so don't just create your project and that is it and you keep it on your pc no try to create projects out there projects that people will use when people start using your applications this is where the real learning starts this is where you learn a lot from and this is where i learned lot form so for example when i was building my software antify and fun ui i didn't know much about ux no i didn't have knowledge about ux but as i start building and people interacted with the applications and after that i understand how to create for people rather than creating for myself and this has changed the trajectory of my life so choose your project set a final date and show the world what you can build. And always remember, every expert was once a beginner. And as always, let's build something great together. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. And make sure to use the link below to check out brilliant.org.